Hello, we received another uh, malicious document at the Internet Storm Center and here is a quick video of the analysis. So we received a malicious document inside a zip file and with OLEDump we can uh, analyze this. Okay, but we get an error. Hmm. Bad password uh, for file. So OLEDump can handle uh, documents inside zip files and the zip files may be password protected uh, provided that the password is uh, infected. But here it's not the case. Hmm. We get a bad password for file error, so the password is something else than infected. Now with zip dump, we can do a small dictionary attack using a password file option. And then we have to provide it a file name that contains our passwords we want to try out. So for example, dictionary. But you can use the internal dictionary of uh, zip dump by giving file name dot. Then you will use the internal dictionary from zip dump. And then we can pass the file. Okay, and indeed, now we can uh, analyze the file and tell us that it contains uh, a document. So it found the password. The, the password itself is not displayed. If you want to know it, use another option, password file stop. And the stop means that uh, zip dump will stop after it found the password. It will not analyze the file. Okay, so here we see uh, the password 123123. So now we can use zip dump to analyze this file and to extract the content of the file and dump it to standard out. And then we can pipe it into OLEDump like this. And indeed, it is a document with macros. So the first stream with macros here is stream 8. So we select stream 8 and we want to decompress the macros. Okay, and here, yeah, already you see a long concatenation of uh, variable names. Here, array with uh, smaller strings and here, other strings. So this is most likely another emotet sample, like the one we uh, analyzed uh, before in uh, our SANS ISC diary entries. So this one too here, we are going to try to analyze with the VBA uh, emulator, the Viper Monkey. So I have Viper Monkey, V Monkey, that's the analyzer. I have to tell it the password, 123123, and then I provide it with the document. And now it will analyze the document and the code and try to emulate this. Okay, but this failed here. We get no output at all. Oh, I mean no output that will tell us what the malicious payload is actually. But there is a solution for that. And that is to use the same Viper monkey command, but with option A. And that's what will use an, an alternate parser because uh, Viper monkey is still in development. And this here will take uh, a bit longer to analyze. Okay, so the analysis is done. And let's scroll back a bit. Okay, and here we see something that looks like base64. So we are going to try to dump this to analyze that base64 text with the base64 dump. So I'm going to pipe this into my tool base64 dump and look for a, a larger base64 string. So at least a 100 uh, bytes. Now, if we run the command like that, it will not work because Viper Monkey is actually outputting the base64 string and, and those other commands to standard error. And so this, to the output stream standard error and not standard out. And when we use a pipe, it's standard out that is piped and not standard error. So what we are going to do is to uh, merge 
the stream standard error and standard out together and you can do that like this two for uh, standard error and we are going to merge this with standard out like this so this will merge the two streams together and it will be standard out and that will be piped as standard in into base64 dump like this this will take some time okay and indeed yeah we have base64 that starts with powershell so this is indeed the payload so let's select this one and dump it because uh, it's text we can just dump it and this will take some time and here now we have the payload so it's a powershell uh, command and as you can see it will download here from this uh, url write it to disk as an exe and then uh, execute it